Meta just launched a new feature that actually will allow us to go in and for the first time ever be able to change how the algorithm targets. So when we do broad targeting, sometimes we have the negative side of actually losing a bit of control of who we target and how the campaigns bid for us. But for the first time ever, with this new feature, you will be able to go into Meta and actually decide which customers are worth more to your business. And not a lot of advertisers even know that this feature now exists in the Ads Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how value rules work and which businesses I think should be using them and how and which businesses I think shouldn't use these at all right now. See, up to this point, we've only really had the option to let Meta give us either the lowest cost conversions, so getting lowest cost and highest volume of conversions, or the highest possible ROAS, which just means the highest possible value for the first order. But these two bid strategies doesn't take into account that there's something else that a lot of businesses value even more than these two metrics, and that is the lifetime value of your customers. For some businesses, it doesn't make sense to go for the most affordable conversion because that's usually and very often a low quality conversion that's not going to lead to a customer that has a lot of money and will come back to you and repeat that same purchase over and over again. So optimizing for lowest cost doesn't make sense for all businesses. And then on the other hand, you can, of course, optimize for highest value, right? The most valuable customers. And that means you will be optimizing your meta ads targeting to get people that have higher order values. But the problem there is you don't know the lifetime value of these people are coming in. So even if you have a higher ROAS on that first order, it might not be supporting your long-term business strategy. You see, sometimes getting people on a low-cost conversion might actually be more beneficial long-term if that low-cost conversion equates to a higher lifetime value or a lifetime profit on that customer. Here's the problem. Like, we have these two options, but sometimes we want to have a third option, and that is optimizing for lifetime value. Now, currently, there is no setting in Meta that allows you to optimize for lifetime value, but what we can do is we can manually go in and look at your backend for our businesses and understand which type of customers are worth more to us. And then we can give that data into the campaign on Meta to allow it to bid a little bit higher on those customers that are worth more to us long term. Or if we know that some customers are worth less to us, then we can also modify how we bid for those customer groups. So now I'm going to show you exactly where you find value rules and how we are using it for our clients and also give you my take on which businesses them and how and also which businesses I think should ignore them for now. So I'm now inside my business manager and the first thing you wanna do is click this burger menu up on the top and then we wanna find advertising settings. So we're gonna go into that. And now, as you can see here under your business, we have value rules. So we're gonna go in here. So the first thing we're going to do is create a rule set. Now, again, as I told you, when we start applying value rules, sometimes we will see worse results in our ads manager. That means we're gonna have higher cost per conversion probably or lower ROAS, okay? So you need to actually tick this. I understand my overall cost per result may increase when using value rules, but that isn't always a negative thing because if it turns out that this change that we do equals more life time profit, then unless it turns into cash flow constraints for a business, this is going to be something that we want. So, so the next thing we do is create a rule set. And now let's look at the different criteria that we can use to set up these rules. So as you can see, we can choose age, gender, mobile operating system, location, or placement. Okay. So we have these five options to choose from. And it's very important that when we set up this rule, we need to base it off actual data that we're confident will equate to a higher lifetime value or make sense overall for a business. So just as an example, let me start with one scenario where I would be using value rules, okay? So one of our clients is a home improvement service company, okay? So they have a CRM system on the back end and they usually have a bit of a long customer journey, okay? They talk to their leads for quite a long time before the lead turns into an actual sale. So the thing here is that we're getting in a lot of leads on the front end, but only a very small amount of them actually convert on the back end, turn into a sale. So these two things, the conversion event and Meta's advertising setup doesn't have a lot of communication, okay? Sure we do qualify leads and we put that data back into the campaign but the actual sale and the value of the sale it's being pulled back to the campaign and the optimization process like we do with the e-commerce integration with Shopify or something like that and what we are doing for this client is that we're looking at the history of all of the leads that converted we look at specific area where they converted from and this business is operating in Australia and we do know that there's some parts within the area that they're servicing that are more valuable than others okay where they get more high value leads that end up converting and buying their premium package. So what we can do is that we can go to location and we can specify specifically where we want to bid a little bit higher. So as an example, if we know that there's a suburb within the area that we're servicing that is more, more valuable to us, let's say just as an example, let's say it's North Sydney. So North Sydney is a suburb within Sydney itself. So let's 
say we want to increase the bid for people in this area by 25%. Then we give the rule a name. So North Sydney, 25% more valuable. Okay. And then we can have the rule here. Now, the thing is, I would only increase the bid here by 25% if I knew that we get 25% on average more revenue per lead from this area. Okay. Or if we know on average that these people have a 25% higher lifetime value. So you need to actually know your numbers. There needs to be uh, alignment between what you see in the back end and how you set up your value rules. Now, another example is for an e-commerce business. In many cases, I don't think this setup will make sense for that many e-commerce businesses yet. But I do think if you do a subscription product or if you have a subscription business model or a very reoccurring business model, then could be worth looking into testing this. In that case, this is what I would look at. First and foremost, I would look at the age group, okay? So first, I would actually go in and look at your history, all your customers, and see if there's any customer groups in terms of age that are more valuable than others. And then I would go into your ads manager and actually break down how your ad spend is now being allocated based on age groups to see if there's any discrepancies. So let's make up an example. Let's say that every customer above the age of 35 has, you know, 30% higher lifetime value or lifetime profit for the last year. And then we go into ads manager and we break down your spend based on age. And we see that you actually spend the same amount on the age group 35 plus as you do from 18 up 35. Okay. If that were the case, you would definitely want to use value rules to make sure that you're bidding in a way that is more aligned with where you're getting the most value for your business from. So in that case, I would set up age and then we would do 35 and then we would do all the way up to 65 plus. We know that all of these age groups are 30% uh, more valuable to us when we look at lifetime value. And in that case, I would do 30% uh, higher bid. Now, I want to note something. If you are running uh, your ads for e-commerce, you want to be pretty careful using these value rules because when you start manipulating the algorithm, that can turn into something that um, is actually negative for you, okay? Because there's more data points that play into what is working the best for you. It's not just these uh, five things, uh, location, age, um, operating system, and placement, uh, and gender. There's actually more than that. So there's actually more data points that the algorithm uh, look into when it's looking at how it wants to bid for your ads. Now, you also need to take into account that if you're running your campaigns with cost control bid strategies at the moment, so you're running it with the cost per assault goal or ROAS goal or a bid cap, when you start manipulating with this, that can make you lose all your momentum for your campaigns. Because if your rule is set at a certain point, so you're targeting a certain ROAS, but then you start bidding differently with value rules, then that might shut down the momentum for those cost control bid strategies. So there's a lot of things you need to take into account, especially if you're running with cost control bid strategies, which I highly recommend a lot of businesses do. Uh, I've made a more comprehensive video about that. You can check out the link in the description. But this is just things to keep in mind when you're looking into using value rules. So in conclusion, if you're running a business model where you are getting leads and there is a CRM on the back end or a sales process offline that doesn't speak natively. There's no integrations between what's happening offline and what's happening with how you're bidding on your campaigns. Then I would definitely look into using value rules. That makes a lot of sense. If you're running e-commerce, I would only really look into this if you have a very reoccurring business model. So if you really want to optimize for lifetime value, okay? In that case, this would make a lot of sense because getting people in at a low cost, but that leading to high lifetime value and lifetime profit, then it's going to make a lot of sense to start using this because in that case, it wouldn't make sense to optimize for the highest possible ROAS uh, if you actually want to have a lower ROAS on the front end, okay, what Meta tracks and then that leading to a higher lifetime value because Meta just tracks that first order. But what we actually wanted to optimize for is what's happening after that first order as well. But that is not some data that's being pulled back and used for how the campaign optimizes. In that case, we want to manipulate how we bid so that we're optimizing for this. But that needs to be backed by the actual data in your business. You need to know your numbers, okay? So that is my current take on value rules. I do think this is super interesting. Um, as soon as we can actually go in and tell Meta to optimize for lifetime values. So when we get to a stage where we can actually pull the lifetime value back into Meta, that will be extremely valuable. At the moment, you can't do that, but you can manipulate a little bit using these, but be very careful. And if you want to test it out, this is how we're doing it. So first and foremost, set up the rule and make sure it's backed by data. Then run it for at least 30 to 90 days. For example, if you want to optimize for a higher 90 day lifetime value, then what I would do is run a campaign that has the value rules applied and then run that for 30 days. And then after that 30 days, run it for another 90 days and then look at the 90 day LTV for those 90 days after those initial 30 days and compare with the 90 days before you started the 30 day period. Okay. The reason for this is we want to allow 30 days to get in customers and bid differently. Okay. With this new bid strategy, we want to get in customers and then we want to see if these customers have 30 days way to a bigger 90 day LTV. And then that new 
new 90 day LTV period, you want to compare to previously before you had the value rules activated. And that's how I would do it. And then again, I would be careful how big of a change you do. And I would monitor this very carefully. And you will also have to be very prepared that when you start using this, you will see worse results in your ads manager, but that's just part of it. And yeah, then I would be very, very closely monitoring how the LTV uh, develops in the period after you run it. But you would definitely have to run this test for a pretty long time because, you know, LTV is something that develops over time. So it's not like a one week test. This is a long test you would have to do. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on it at the moment. Uh, please leave a like and a comment if you find it valuable. And if you want to see more uh, meta ads videos in the future, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.